everybody. Settle down. Write your names on these name tags and quiet down, please. Excuse me. What is going on here? Welcome to Life Class, New Souls. I'll be your professor today. What? Life Class? Is it more fun than we sent out of the world? Yeah, all right, quiet down, quiet down. Yes, you're all going to be sent down to Earth very soon. We don't know exactly when yet, but we do know we're running out of time to teach you the things you need to know. Um, so, I hope you're really excited. Oh my god, I for one am definitely excited. I wonder what great things are waiting for us down there. I've heard so many rumors about how amazing life is. Don't get ahead of yourself. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Just like we don't know for certain that life is going to be all sunshine and rainbows. Okay, none of us know what life is going to be like yet. There's no need to be arguing over the theory. Exactly! None of you have any idea what you're in for yet, but that's okay. I am here to teach you. First things first, if you will reference the whiteboard. <laughs> yes, it's all really very simple. Like I said, let me lay it out for you. Who can tell me what the first step of life is? I know. Birthdays. Oh, I'm so excited for my birthday. I hear there's like parties and cake and everybody's celebrates. <laughs> yes, birthdays are for celebrating, uh, except for your actual birthday. That one will not be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. All you guys ever tell us is how great life is going to be. And uh, now you tell us our first experience down there is going to be a bad one. Well, I'm just saying that your first birthday isn't exactly painless for anybody involved. Um, and the first couple years after your birthdays on Earth, those are not going to be super pleasant either. But there is still great stuff after that! Wait, what's so wrong with the first part of life? I thought you said being a baby was awesome. Well, <laughs> when you're a baby, you're not able to talk. <laughs> you, you learn how to eventually, but... At first, you basically, well, um, you basically just scream your discontent multiple times a day. And, um, and trust me, trust me when I say there will be times you want to do the same thing as an adult, but as you get older, it gets to be less and less socially acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> discontent? Why will we be not content? You won't be able to do much of anything at first. Right now, you're just these, these souls brimming with potential, these blank slates, like is going to mold you guys, but you have to be patient. What exactly do you mean mold us? Oh, that is the point of life. Think of it like, like an obstacle course. You'll be stronger by the end of it. So basically what you're saying is, is that life is going to be hard and painful, and by the time we've learned all the lessons from it... Oh, that's when you die, yeah. <laughs> you know, you are remarkably perceptive. I've really only covered infancy so far, and you already get the many points. So if I had to guess, I'd say you'd be the first to go. You may all be sent down first because I'm the most cynical of us here. I don't really think I want to go down anymore. <laughs> well, that's another thing you'll learn about life. You know, it's kind of a free will's kind of gray area down there. Gray area? <laughs> Yeah, if I'm being frank with you guys, there is a lot of that happening right now. All right, all right, listen, I am done here. I am not signing up for this. I didn't fully understand what this entailed before, and now that I do... Wait, what's going on here? See, isn't this exciting? I knew you were my star pupil. Looks like you passed your test. Star pupil? What test? You've been deemed prepared for life. You had fun in your life. <laughs>
And that's what we've been taught, and and that's what I believe. And come on, there's there's things like flowers and and making art and and ice cream. <laughs> well, life is good. I'm not here to tell you that it isn't. That's that's just how James was interpreting some of the stuff I was telling you guys. You're not all going to judge things the same way, and that is the beauty of it. You know, in all fairness, James was kind of a gloomy dude. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I mean, he didn't hear you out. There's more to being on Earth than what you've told us so far, right? Uh, like you said, you told me you told us what it's like to be a baby. How about a teenager? That's better, right? Teenagers, yeah. <laughs> Making friends, going to parties, finding your first love. Yes, but as a side note, you'll all probably be extremely awkward and do things as a teenager that you'll look back on and regret for the rest of your life. <laughs>
have you been down there? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. I may not have ever been sent down to Earth like you guys will be, but that is because it is my job to stay up here and study Earth from afar as it changes. I have one purpose, and that is to teach souls what they need to know. I've been studying life for as long as I've existed, and let me tell you that is a long time. I am telling you the truth so that you know the reality of your situation. But you haven't told us any of the good things yet. I mean, I've heard talk about how beautiful nature is, and, and making snow angels, and, and laughing until your belly hurts. Yeah, that's going to work 9 to 5, and wars over stupid things, and not being able to afford food, and getting fired. Petting puppies, <laughs> sending gifts to people you love, getting married, watching the sun rise. Not getting any sleep because of work, getting cheated on, getting the flu. Okay, okay, enough. These Let's are things that the you need to have! Stop! No. You're both wrong. What? what? You're both taking me from opposite ends of the spectrum. Life can't be all good or all bad. It has to be a combination of the two. Okay, that's why you fall in love, and it's amazing. And then maybe you break up, and it hurts. But that doesn't mean that it wasn't a good experience. And who said that you won't fall in love again? That's true. Life is undeniably full of ups and downs. Exactly. And free will isn't something that's given to you. That's the whole point of free will. We just have to go down there, make choices for ourselves, and find our own happiness. If life isn't great, then we just have to make it great. That's not going to be as easy as you're making it sound. It doesn't have to be easy. It's about the experience. Isn't that, isn't that what life gives us? You know what? Let's not wait for the powers to be. Life is about making decisions. <laughs> So what better way to start power than making a choice right now? What are you saying? Let's just go. We can walk out that door right now. We don't have to sit here and wait to be persuaded that life is some horrible thing that will break us down. We just have to go down there and see what it is for ourselves. Yeah, let's do it. You're just going to have your expectations crushed. That's the thing. I don't have any expectations. We walked into this classroom and you tried to send us down and thinking that everything was going to be awful. But that's no way of live. I'm going to embrace both ends of the spectrum. The good and the bad. Are we sure this is going to work? There's only one way to find out. <laughs>